One of the most important things you can bring to your garden is a wildlife pond. And there's no easier way to do that than having it in a container. Now this is a uh, plant trough. There are several ways that you can watertight this. One is by using a silicon sealant. If you decide to use a silicon sealant, be careful not to use one from your everyday hardware store as this carries a lot of toxins. Try using an aquatic safe silicon sealant and a good way to use that is by going for an aquarium sealant. Now, we don't want the water to boil up here because we're in a slightly sunny location. Plants can help with this by creating a shade because also the wildlife will want to have some protection, some shelter and some shade. But another way is also to add a log like I've done here. Birds can perch on this, have a drink and have a bathe and feel safe in the environment that they're in. So in order to get into the pond, I've installed this ramp here and I've attached it to the piece of wood. If I was to give it a good shake, it's not going anywhere. So it's really secure, especially in high weather situations. If you see along it, I've cut some grooves. You can also use chicken wire and this is to help any wildlife that are going into the pond and coming out to be able to grip their little feet onto it so it's nice and safe. If it was a smooth surface and it'd been raining, there's high chance that they'll just slide all the way down. Maintaining your wildlife pond is pretty essential. For the most part, it'll take care of itself, but it's good to step in when needed. I have a little net here, got it for about two pounds from a local um, pet store. And what I'll do if I feel like there's a big buildup of algae, I'll just use this to scoop some of it out. But to help alongside it, I have these. These are natural products. It's really important that it stays natural. One is a bioactivator to introduce some healthy bacteria to the water. And the other one is a sludge control. So if there is too big a buildup, maybe from the sun, then this will help with that. And I just put a tiny bit in each month. Introducing aquatic plants is also really important for your wildlife pond. Here we have a marsh marigold, which is also known as a Caltha palustris. And it looks like a buttercup, as my daughter tells me, and that is part of the Ranunculaceae family. Really important to have a bit of spring interest as well. It will flower for a few weeks and then it will die off. But to help create some shade at the bottom over here, I also have a miniature bulrush and that will grow up and create some shade at this part of the, of the wildlife pond. And then we have the log here and the access here. So all together, we've created an environment that I hope wildlife will like. And once you've built your wildlife pond within weeks, you will have pond skaters, damselflies, and eventually frogs, possibly frog spawn down the line.